Welcome to Oji's Origami. Today we're going to be doing a beginner's origami pattern and we're going to make um, a penguin. Of course I've chosen origami paper that's black on one side, white on the other side. And I'm starting with the white side up and I'm folding corner to corner. Hold the corners in place and then fold the crease. Okay, so it looks like that. Your edges are nicely met and your corners are together. Open it up. Once you've opened it up, this edge is going to be folded down like this to meet the center line. Okay, so this edge it's going to be folded over to meet the center line. Hold it in place and do a nice crease. And the same thing with this edge. I'm going to turn my page, I'm going to rotate it. That's the way I like to just keep rotating and folding. It makes it easier for myself. So this edge is going to fold up to meet the center line. Once those two edges have been folded, we're going to do the same thing with these two edges. They're going to be folded in to meet the center line. Like that, okay? So it should look something like this by now. Okay. And now I'm going to rotate the paper this way. And I'm going to open up this side of the page. I'm going to open it right up. And now I'm going to fold this edge back down slowly. And I'm going to fold this edge back down slowly. But I want this point to remain sticking up in the air, just like that. Alright. And as that point, as this point here is sticking up in the air, this point right there, you want to form a nice point with it, like that. See the little point I made? And then once you've made that point, slowly crease the paper all the way back down right to the base. See, so your paper now looks, looks like this. Okay, see that? And once you've made that point, you can fold it down like so. And now it looks like this. Okay. I'm going to rotate my paper and do the same thing with this side. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to fold this edge back down. I'm going to fold this edge back down and leave the point sticking up like that. And then with that point that's sticking up, I'm going to make a nice little point right there. And then I'm going to crease the paper right back down, like that. And then I'm going to lay that point down. And now I'm going to turn my page over. And I'm going to fold it in half like that. Okay. 
once it's folded in half, take a look at your project. And if you're if you're holding it this way, and the uh, the arms of the penguin are pointing down like this, and obviously that's going to be the head up here, and that's going to be feet down here. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to work on the feet. What I'm going to do with this point, with this point, I'm going to fold it this way like that. I'm going to So that the crease is almost touching um, the arm, right? Just fold it over like that and make a crease. Once you've made this crease, open up the penguin. Now see that nice little V line you've just made? You're going to, I'm going to turn it around. This With this nice little V line, you're going to fold this up on that V line like that. And then on the white center line, you're going to fold it in half. So I'm going to do it again. You're going to pick this up on that V line. And as you pick it up on the white center line, you're going to fold it in half like such and then squeeze it. So a nice crease. Should look like this. And then to finish off the feet, we're going to fold this point this way. We're going to fold this point over this way. like such, and crease. So now it looks like that. Open it up. And then we're going to carefully open this up. And again, see that V line you just made? This point's going to be folded in on that V line. And as you fold it in, here's that white center line again, you're going to fold it in half on that white center line like this. All the way over like that and then squeeze. So the penguin's feet now looks like this. Okay, so now you got the feet, you got the Penguin's arms, like that. Now we're going to do the head. The head of the penguin, you're going to uh, use this point up here, and we're going to fold it over. And now you can judge for yourself how large or small a head you want. If you fold it like this, you've got a very small penguin head. If you fold it like this, you've got a very large penguin head. So you can decide how large or small your head wants to be. I'm going to fold it something like this. And if you've got it to the position where you want, then crease it. Okay. And then we're going to open it back up. We're going to open up the penguin like this. And again, here's those V lines again. You're going to take the point and you're going to fold it down on those V lines like this. Okay. And then as you fold it down, we're going to squeeze the body back together like this. And on that white center line right there, you're going to fold it in half like that. See that? And then squeeze. So there's the head. Okay, there's the head, there's the penguin's arms, there's the feet. And to make the penguin stand up on its own, with the feet you can just sort of separate this paper just a little bit, like that. 
like that and it should stand up he should stand up on his own well just gonna fold it open like that there he goes so there's your penguin okay if you've enjoyed ah oh, my my Just open up the feet a little more at the back. Here we go. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to OG's Origami. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.